Hey everybody, it's Seamus. I just wanted to show you a little bit of the progress I've made on Project Frontier this week. The most obvious thing is going to be the day and night cycle. I think this looks pretty cool. You can see the sunrise, the sunset, the horizon changes color, um, and the stars fade in slowly. It's it's pretty good effect. Of course, it's not really procedural. It's just nice. It's just a nice atmospheric thing. Um, but I want to show you the world here. If you look in the lower left corner, um, that's a map of the world we're currently exploring. Um, each pixel represents an area of 64 meters, which means the entire world is 32 kilometers on a side. You'd have to walk for 32 kilometers to get from one edge of the map to the other, which means the entire world is a thousand square kilometers. Um, that is bigger than World of Warcraft. World of Warcraft at estimates I've read online suggest it's about 600 square kilometers. That's including the expansion areas. Um, and now we're going to rebuild my world. I'm just going to hit this rebuild key. I'm not going to do any cuts or any editing. We're just going to see how long this takes. And done. There, now we have another entire world the size of World of Warcraft. Um, so you see, it doesn't take long to generate a new world. And I can just sit here and smack the rebuild key all day and generate as many World of Warcraft sized world, larger than World of Warcraft sized worlds as I want. Obviously, you don't really need more than one at a time, but it's there for variety's sake. The next thing I want to show you are rivers. Now, I already wrote about this earlier uh, in the week on my blog, but I wanted to show this off now in a video so you can get a really good look at it. Um, you can see rivers start off as tiny streams. They generally start in the middle of the map, um, in the foothills of mountains, and then you can just walk along the bank. Um, it can be a long walk sometimes, but so we're going to cut. But uh, as you walk along, you can see the river gets deeper and wider. Um, and eventually, if you follow it all the way out, you'll you'll eventually hit the coast and come out to the mouth of the river where it lets out into the sea. But obviously, the big feature is the one you've probably noticed already, which is trees. I haven't written about this on my blog. Um, I will eventually, but those posts take a long time to write, and I thought in the meantime I could just show you how they're looking. These are very much a work in progress. These are not done, and I know there's all sorts of things wrong. You don't have to tell me all the things wrong with them. But the trees are created uh, based on climate. If we go to snowy areas up in the mountains or on the uh, or on the cold edge of the map, whether that's the far north or the far south, um, we'll see a lot of evergreens. Um, if we head to the tropical areas, we'll see a lot of tropical trees. Um, there aren't enough uh, trees for temperate climates. That's still on my list of things to make. And the placement is a little a little mechanical now. I think I still need to uh, scatter the trees and, and make their placement make a little more sense. Anyway, not a bad week for my project. A lot of new things. I'm pretty happy with how it's looking so far. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.